creators.tf belated september update was released on the 2nd of september 2021 and basically introduced two new weapons two weapon reworks couple of cosmetics and a bunch of maps now i'm not going to be focusing on the maps or cosmetics just the weapons but to say this the update is very good there were way less bugs this time and there was a really good cinematic need for it but let's actually start talking about the weapons because heck there's quite a bit to talk about so the update introduced two new weapons the brick and the quick draw and rebalanced a couple of weapons such as the wasp launcher and the card cutter and i'm going to start this segment with the wasp launcher because one of the most flawed weapons in this entire segment so let's jump into the video The wasp launcher is not great, okay? Its previous stats were a 20% explosion radius and a 10% reduction in damage and a 20% reduce in projectile speed. That was changed to a 15% increase in explosion radius, increased vertical knockback, a 30% reduce in projectile speed and a 110% reduction in damage follow. Now, this weapon is fun to play with for the wrong reasons. As it gives you an unfair advantage over mobile classes because of its increased vertical knockback. It can stop Ubers, Scouts, Soldiers, Demos. Heck, it can stop all the classes just because of that single advantage, which is why I say it isn't a good weapon. It pretty much requires almost no skill to use and makes it incredibly easy to kill enemies without trying, trying at all. Something like the direct hit at least gives you a high reward for being good enough to aim your short right which gives you extra damage. In conclusion, this weapon gets a 4 out of 10, mostly because of it has a low, a low risk and a high reward just for spamming rockets at the enemy's feet and would basically be an unfair weapon for anyone else playing against it. To fix it, I would generally remove vertical knockback altogether, maybe a meter that fills up and then gives you some good knockback but requires you to deal damage and doesn't last for very long. I would probably also increase the explosion radius to just about 20% as to give the player at least some sort of edge. These are just suggestions. Note. You and me, Hoss. Sentry, go, go, down, up. Damn it, cut the blue from that gear. This thing came on an autopilot. Damn it, cut the blue from that gear. Hold it down. Don't touch that sentry. Damn it, cut the blue from that gear. That's my hand on our gear. Get down. Damn it, cut the blue from that gear. Sentry, go, go, down, up, damn it, cut the blue to that gear. This thing came on an autopilot, damn it, cut the blue to that gear. Hold it down, don't touch that sentry, damn it, cut the blue to that gear. Never stop, stop. ain't on our gear. Hit, hit, down, down, hit, 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 down, damn it, cut the blue to that gear. Hit, down, 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 hit, 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 down, damn it, cut the blue to that gear. Hit, down, 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 hit, 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 down, damn it, cut the blue to that gear. Hit, down, 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 hit, 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 down, damn it, cut the blue to that gear. The quick draw is, well, one of the best weapons in this entire update and I'm not joking. It is a genuinely good weapon, I really like to use it while playing the game. It's more or less a revolver for MG that has a 50% faster sweet speed, it sends 5% more accurate and offers mini crit immediately when it's pulled out with the downside of only a 50% less clip size and 150% spring firing speed. But this generally makes the weapon an incredibly balanced weapon and good. And to be honest, compared to the pistol, the weapon doesn't have as much ammo to be honest, you have to have it so that it's fair. But to be honest, in the weapon's credits, the mini creep bonus like really helps out with damage and it's a great combo weapon actually. And to be honest, it's an incredibly good pair with the panic attack due to both of them having a, a sweet speed bonus, basically making it a viable combo weapon. So in my opinion, this weapon gets 10 out of 10, which might seem overrated, but it's a really, really well-balanced secondary and fun to use too. And now, we get to the third weapon. One is a job and the other is mental sickness. It's all young. Oh, 
bloody brick is let's not lie to ourselves a joke weapon as it basically borrows the physics and the handling from the Jurassic and is more of a meme in the creator's community now you might say well just cause it borrows physics from Jurassic doesn't mean it's bad well you'd be wrong because instead of the weapon being something like a splash weapon like the Jurassic or the mad milk it's more focused on being something like the cleaver or the rap assassin which in my opinion are two really good bleed weapons but I'm sorry but the blood brick is just not the only thing that it's got going for it is a 50% increase in its recharge rate which still doesn't redeem itself and to be honest when you feel the weapon sometimes it just bounces like I don't get it the bleed might be useful in some cases but it can't really beat the combo that is the Jarasi and the Bushwaka which has been the definitive sniper loadout for years and also if you want to do the contract for this weapon just don't it will take way too long to hit anybody and even if you do you have to do it over and over and over again so in conclusion this weapon gets 6 out of 10 and it mostly gets that even because it's a joke weapon and like you know it's funny kind of but it, if it actually wanted to be a weapon i would recommend that the physics of it be changed to something identical to the cleaver and to make it much more viable as a secondary for sniper and would actually make it a really interesting weapon to use Ahem. gentlemen Finally on the last weapon, the carved cutter. Now I don't really have much to say about this weapon because I don't really play spy that much. Most people have said it's great because it gives spy a leap at the cost of 15% health and 0.5 slower clock speed, which makes it sort of an okay weapon. Most spies will say it's great that spy has some vertical mobility now, but because of that singular nerf, spy can get one shotted by almost anything and they are planning to nerf it further which will generally make spy an even weaker class it's not even like the cool knife which abysmally reduces your health but gives you an overheal bonus when you get a backstab in order to increase your survivability and sometimes the leap just doesn't work altogether and even when it does you have to position yourself absolutely right to use it and sometimes it's only the really and it's only really viable to pair with the dead ringer but that still doesn't make it the absolute best spy knife for choice but in the hands of a good spy player it can be really really good so it gets a 6.5 out of 10 it's a really good idea which i would like to see to come to pass but some people have said it's too overpowered some people said it's too underpowered so i'm not really sure i kind of stay neutral on the matter and keep in mind that they don't really play spy so some other spy means might have some other opinions on this Anyways, that's the weapons of the Blizzard Breakthroughs update fully covered. I really do recommend you go play on their servers as they really put in a lot of effort into updates like this. But I will agree that the weapons do need major reworks and a couple of bugs need to be fixed. But in general, go play on creators. There will be a lot of other choices except on Kutopia and Skiao. Also, before I end the video, yes, this might be might have been a little bit off from my channel but say i like all types of games so as long as they are quality and pf2 is no exception so i really like playing it and might do an actual review on the game too also a grand tourism movie is coming soon so keep your eyes peeled anyway this is where the i blown off i hope you enjoyed the video i would also like to thank a couple of people who helped me out with this video and things and i hope you like the review anyways i will see you guys later bye bye